when Porsche revised its Roadster line last year, rechristening it the 718 Boxster, restyling it slightly, and swapping in turbocharged 2.0 and 2.5-liter flat four-cylinder engines for its beloved 2.7 and 3.4-liter flat sixes and standard and S models, respectively. We knew we would have to test every powertrain permutation of each to see exactly how the changes would affect their characters and capabilities. It's a tough job, we know. Well, after this test of the Guard's red 2017 718 Boxster with the 6-speed manual, we now have coverage of all four Boxster models. Say what purists will about the loss of two cylinders in the, still unfortunately sealed, engine bay behind the driver, we now can aver that every last variant of the 718 Boxster is spectacularly quick. And we've got the numbers to prove it. With its mere 300 horsepower and human actuated shifter, we expected this configuration to be slower than either of the 350 horsepower S models and or any Boxster equipped with the lightning fast dual clutch automatic transmission. And we were right that this car did take the longest to get to speed. But, like all 718s we've tested so far, the base Boxster proved exceptionally quick requiring just 4.4 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour, 10.6 to achieve 100 miles per hour, and 13.0 seconds to cover the quarter mile at 109 miles per hour yes, 4.4 seconds to 60. And that's the slowest accelerating Boxster available to Americans. In terms of acceleration, the switch to turbo four-cylinder power has paid off particularly well for base 718 models, this car is a huge 1.2 seconds quicker to 60 miles per hour than was the previous Boxster manual, while the 718 Cayman manual's comparable time has dropped by a full second, from 5.3 to 4.3 seconds. PDK equipped 718s do remain consistently quicker than their manual counterparts, but with the 2.0 liter turbo 4, the gap has closed somewhat. Only 0.4 second separate human shifted 718 Boxsters and Caymans from their automatic counterparts.